Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, we're going to continue with the very simple JSON API app that we started last episode. And when I say very simple, I'm not exaggerating. There's only a single route slash API slash roll, and that route rolls a die and returns its value. What we're going to do today is we're going to extend this so that it handles multiple roles and in the process, we'll introduce a couple new functions that are very useful in your Phoenix views when you're working with a JSON API. So we're going to need another route, but before we get to that, let's look at the controller we have now. So when we come in on the index, we get a random number of uniform distribution between one and six, and we pass that role into the index. We're going to refactor this a little bit so that we can get some reuse between rolling a single die and rolling multiple dice. So for now, the only change is going to be uh, this roll will have a value, and that value is going to be the number that came up from the die roll. And in our view, we have an index JSON, uh, both the OK case and the failure case. We're going to refactor this a bit as well. Uh, first of all, we'll get rid of the status from here and we'll change this role to value. And the index will take a role which has a value like so. Now we're going to change this from index.json to role.json. And this is going to be what we reuse. So. We have a role.json we can render. Then when we call the index, there will still be an index.json that can be rendered, and it's going to use the role. So we have index, and there's some role, and then we'll return data and render one. Render one will render a single item using existing template or an existing render that we've defined in line in the view. And we're going to pass it the role. And then we need to give it the name of the module, which in this case would be firehoseweb.rollView. Although in this case, I prefer not to name the module because if we rename it, we might want to change that. So we can do instead is just double underscore module, double underscore. And that just means the current module, whatever it may be. And we're going to render this using role.json. So now when a role comes into the index, we return data and then the result of rendering one role JSON with the role that was passed in. And this role JSON will look for the value and it'll show the value. If we don't have any mistakes, this should now be working again, except now we're just showing data and value. Okay, now to render more than one, we'll need to add a new route. So in here, we'll call this uh, roll slash number of dice. And this isn't really a very resty uh, part of the app, but we'll just call this show. And then we need to make a show in our controller. What this is going to have to do is it's going to have to get the number of dice from uh, whatever came in through the router. So number of dice is going to be num dice. And then it's going to have to make sure it's a valid integer. So we'll use a case for that. We'll say rolls equal case of integer dot parse of number of dice coming in and integer.parse will actually let's just show it in the console so if we do integer.parse of three you can see we get a tuple with three and then an empty string if if we had something like three uh float or something uh, float it doesn't mean anything it could be three anything We'll get that the rest of it in this string here. Um, crucially, if we didn't have a valid number at all, we'd get an error. So 
in the case that we get a number back at all, what we'll do is we'll match out that number. We don't care about what's uh, um, what else may have been matched after it. And then, so we'll need a random number for each of these numbers. What we'll do is we'll just use a generator. So for x going from one up to the number, return a die or return a roll for each of these. So the roll is going to have a die. Um, the die is the, the number of the die. So the first die will be one, second die will be two, third die, however many dies we have, we'll, we'll just number them all. So that's what the X is going to be. And then the value of the role is going to be uh, rand.uniform six again, just as we had above. And I believe that's all we need for the happy path. Then if we have anything uh, that wasn't a valid number, we'll just get an error there for the roles and then we'll render on and show.json and roles, roles. We'll make a render for show that just logs everything out to the console first so you can see what's coming into it. So show.json and that should take multiple roles and roles. And we'll just put an inspect line here of the roles and we'll return nothing. Okay, so we'll try rolling two dice. Okay, that's, uh, that's nothing. Uh, that's, that's a little bit uh, too, too blank here. Status, okay. Okay, so it looks like we're rolling and you can see rolls. We have a die with a value of two and then a second die with value of five. So that looks like everything's good. So how do we use this roll.json to render this list of die rolls? Well, it's pretty simple. It, it looks almost just like we had for the uh, index.json. What we do instead is we call render many, which works a lot like render one, but it takes a list of, uh, of items to be rendered. So in the module and roll.json. This is going to fail because uh, we don't we don't have why did that not fail? Value num. Oh, because we matched uh, with just the number. Okay, it didn't fail, but let's do something a little bit better. Let's make this return the die if there is one. Die die. And now we can see die one, value two, die two, value of three, can roll multiple times. We can change this to roll three dice. We can roll 31 dice and all keeps working. So we've got a way to render collections. We'll get rid of this unneeded log there. So the keys here are render one and render many, as you probably guessed. These don't just work with maps. We can also use them with ecto schemas. And that's what we're going to do next episode. Till next time, code on.